At tonight's meeting of the Columbiana School Board, the superintendent and two school board members criticized the Community Reinvestment Area, or CRA, program the city has in place, which gives people who build new homes 15 years of no property tax. The claims by school officials is they are losing out on a lot of money that the school district is entitled to. Superintendent Don Mook took 30 minutes at tonight's Columbiana School Board meeting explaining why he was opposed to the City of Columbiana's CRA program. One development where homeowners have benefited from the CRA is Firestone Farms, where most new homes built since 2019 won't have to pay property tax for 15 years. So 15 years is a tremendous long tremendously long time. When will it end and will it be reissued over and over and over again? To show how much the district is losing, Mook took one house valued at $440,000 where the occupants made $100,000 a year. With full property and income taxes, the school system would receive $3,760. With no property tax, it's getting $1,360, a loss of $2,400 a year. And there are 170 houses in the CRA program that would be beneficial to adding programs here, fixing up our buildings, and adding to the, to the things that we need uh, in athletic facilities and books and programs and college credit plus and special needs. School officials tonight said at the moment, Columbiana schools are in good financial shape, but school board member Scott Karen says the rest of the community should not have to pay to educate students in CRAs. The city in essence is saying, listen, you guys got plenty of money. Just use that plenty of money that you have and all the other people will pay taxes. Just use it for 15 years to educate those kids. And it's okay. It's okay to use that money that everybody else is paying into. It's not okay. It's not right in order to do that. One option mentioned was a property tax abatement of five to seven years and not 15 years. Mook also suggested the board agree to mediation with the city and also suggested a public forum be held. Columbiana City Manager Lance Willard and City Councilman John Yengis were at the school board meeting but did not say anything. Afterwards, though, Willard sent me this statement, quote, We have said all along that we don't want the schools to be harmed and we want to work together. We look forward to the public forum. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.